Hi, and welcome to this new tutorial series. This series is going to be mostly focused around administering Active Directory all through PowerShell. So we are going to be uh, installing the service using PowerShell. We're going to be creating the forest using PowerShell. We're going to be creating our OUs using PowerShell. We're going to be creating users, viewing users, removing users. We're going to be updating users, creating uh, groups, and managing groups. Um, which we've already seen creating users, viewing users, removing users, and updating users in a previous tutorial series uh, in which we automated Active Directory. But this video is really going to do a deep dive in just those commandlets to create users. We're going to look at all the different ways that we can create them. We're going to look at the different ways that we could remove users, update users. And I'm going to be referencing that automating the user creation video. I'm also going to be linking the playlist in this description as well. Um, just this way, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, you guys can go check that out as well. Um, and then I'm thinking for a project, which I've actually kind of mentioned a little bit in that other uh, tutorial series, we're going to be automating the group membership based on, I'm thinking based on a role in this case, so based on a position that you have at work, so based on your title in Active Directory, uh, we can manage groups. So we're going to look at different ways to do that uh, together. Um, if you guys have any other uh, things that you guys want me to take a look at related to Active Directory and PowerShell, definitely feel free to um, put it in the comments down below, and I can add those to the series as well. So. Uh, what I'm using right now is, uh, so on the screen right now, is just a, a simple server 2016 box. It would be the exact same if you were using uh, server 2019. Uh, you can definitely use that as well. Um, but we're going to be using 2016 in this case. And we are just using, uh, again, PowerShell. I believe it's like 5.1, which is the default that comes installed. Uh, so I'm actually just RDP'd into the server right now from my actual computer. So we're not doing any PowerShell remoting in this case. We are going to be running everything directly on the server. Uh, if you guys want to find out how to install uh, server 2016 or 2019, um, I do have a video that I'm going to be putting the link down in the description below so you guys can get that environment set up for this tutorial series. Besides the just the setup, I haven't done anything else um, to the server. So if I actually just go into server manager here, uh, the only thing that I've really done is give it a computer name, uh, which I mean, I didn't really name it that good. Um, and then enabled the remote desktop on it just so I could uh, remote desktop to it. So I can basically record these videos for you guys. Um, so besides that, um, that's pretty much it. I would assign it a static IP address if I were you guys so that you guys can do, again, I have that video in that setup originally. Um, but if you guys come to local server, you guys can just click on the Wi-Fi or Ethernet, depending on how you guys have it set up. You guys just double click on this and then uh, click on properties. You can go ahead and set up the IP address right there. Um, so once you have all that set up, we're just going to actually reboot this computer after I have set it up on the new IP. And in this video, we are going to be uh, just simply installing the service and creating that forest. Uh, so we're going to get that. And so we're just going to reboot and I will be right back. Uh, with that first part of the tutorial series. All right, so we are back here. So I do have that static IP assigned now as well. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and start with the first part here. Uh, so I've decided to combine the intro and just kind of the first steps, uh, just so you guys can actually get the Active Directory set up on the server on this first video. And then in the second video, we'll jump right into um, looking at creating OUs and some of the different things that we can do there. So the first thing we need to do in order to um, 
get the forest created, we first have to install the service. Um, and in order to install the service, we first have to actually import a module of server manager. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do import module, and then we're going to do name, and then we're going to do server manager, and we're just going to import that here. All right. And then the first command we're going to run is to install the service. So we're going to do install windows feature and the feature that we're going to want to install is called ad dash domain dash services and we are going to want to go ahead and we are going to want to do the include management tools now this is going to give us um, the remote management tools and everything like that we definitely want that to be able to manage our active directory in the future so we are going to run this line here. Now this is actually going to go ahead and install. This should only take a couple minutes at most. Um, so I'm just going to let this actually run live here in the video so you guys can actually see what goes on. Uh, in some of the steps, I'm going to be fast forwarding because they do take a little bit longer. Um, and I don't want the video to drag out that long here. So let's just wait for this install to complete. And then what we're going to want to do is right after this install is complete here, we are going to actually import the Active Directory Domain Services deployment module, because um, that's what we need to import in order to actually create our, for our forest. Um, and our root, our root forest and our domain controller, which is really going to be the first step. Um, I'm not planning on creating any um, like cross domain or anything like that or child domains. If you guys do want to see that, definitely post it in the comments. Um, I'll have to get uh, some other equipment uh, in order to get that set up, but that's not a problem. I could most likely get uh, that set up for us. So the setup is almost done here. Now these could all be ran remotely as well. Like definitely um, if you have, um, if you know how to do PowerShell remote, you can run all of these features um, remoted um, with just the P PS sessions. Um, it would definitely be possible. Um, this is definitely more useful if you have uh, like running these remotely or running these directly on the machine if you want to bring up uh, another um, server with all the exact same settings. You would have these scripts basically on your images uh, or on a hard drive somewhere or on a share, uh, on a network share, um, and be able to run these scripts to be able to bring up these servers extremely quickly um, and have another domain controller available if you need to scale um, at that level. This is taking a little bit longer than I was expecting, but there it is. Um, it is completely done. So we do see the success restart needed and the exit code. So it's all installed here. So what we need to do next is just actually go ahead and import that Active Directory Domain Services deployment module. So let's do import module, and then we're going to put the name here, and we're going to do ad D, S, D, and then tab, and it should auto-complete to ADDS deployment. And we're just going to run that line here. And then what we're going to do is we need to create a safe mode administrator password for our domain. Uh, this usually gets prompted to you in the GUI in case you ever uh, need to access that. It's definitely a very important password to keep on the side. Uh, just in case you ever need to get into your uh, domain controller without any access. 
So let's go ahead and let's create a variable called password and let's make it equal to convert to secure string, oops, secure string. And we're gonna do a string here and we're just gonna put a password. We're just gonna put test one, two, three, four with an exclamation mark. Just very simple, easy to remember. I don't recommend using this password if you are putting this in a production environment, but if you're just testing, using this password is perfectly fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a install ADDS forest. And then we are gonna go ahead and put the domain name. And we're just gonna use our standard domain name that we always use on this channel, which is just jacked.ca. And then we are gonna do the safe mode administrator password and we are gonna pass in our variable there. And the other um, things that we are gonna want to enable here is we're gonna wanna put in the parameter of installed DNS. And we are gonna wanna do the domain mode and we're gonna do win threshold. Uh, so this basically puts it up to the Windows Server 2016. And we are gonna do the forest mode to the win threshold as well. And I believe that that's it. Uh, we're just gonna do the force. And then we are gonna specify no reboot on completion. Now what you can do as well is for the error action, um, you could just do silently continue. Um, but I actually like seeing the errors. You're gonna see a lot of warnings pop up. The warnings are usually nothing to really worry about. Um, but in a production environment, you might not want to do that silently continue just to be able to see if there are any error messages that would actually matter to your environment. Because uh, every environment is different. Uh, we can't assume that they are gonna be just benign error messages. So let's run these two lines here. And I'm actually gonna come right back once this completes, because this does actually take quite a few minutes. Um, I think the last time that I ran this, it took like roughly between five to 10 minutes. So we will be back when, once all that completes and I will see you then. All right, so it is all complete now. So we actually do see that um, it does get quite a bit of warnings, but we can ignore all of these um, in our case anyways, uh, for me. Um, and then we do get the message that you must restart this uh, computer to complete the operation. Uh, we do get the reboot required. So all we're gonna wanna do here is we can actually reboot right from PowerShell. And the way that we would do that is we just go restart computer. And then we do a dash force and we can just run this here. And this is going to reboot the computer. All right, so now that all that's done, um, that will basically, we will call it there for today um, for the video. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next videos come out. In the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at creating OUs. We're gonna be taking a look at all different things with the organizational unit. So creating OUs, um, deleting OUs, really focusing on that um, and seeing what type of options are available for them. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the user perspective. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the different groups and start managing groups and then we can start on the project of automating those groups on top of that automating PowerShell script that we've already created to automate our users. So we're actually gonna be using that script and adding on to it with this group management script. So it's gonna manage our users. It's also gonna manage our user permissions based on groups. So be sure to subscribe to get all those videos um, once they release. And I will see you on the next video.